All right, this lesson is perpendicular lines in the coordinate plane. The rules and sort of the, uh, the understanding that you gain for parallel lines will apply here in many ways. Uh, perpendicular lines are just two lines that are on the same plane and that meet at a 90 degree angle, um, as we can see right here. Uh, the key to understanding perpendicular lines in the coordinate plane is to note their slopes. If we take a look at the slope of line A here, um, we pick a point, say down here at negative 4, negative 3, and then pick another point where the line crosses, uh, say here at 0, negative 2. To get from one to the other, we have to rise from negative 3 to negative 2, and then run from negative 4 to 0. So we rise 1, and we run 4. So that tells us our slope is 1 fourth. And it's positive, of course, because we're rising from left to right. So if we then take a look at the slope of the other line, um, we'll call this line B up here. This line, uh, if we pick a point 0, 1, and then another point up here, say negative 1, 4, to get from this point to this point, we have to rise 4 and run negative 1. So this one has a slope of 4 over negative 1, or negative 4. So now you can see that the slopes, negative 4 and then 1 quarter, are similar, except that they are inverted. One's flipped over, because of course negative 4 could be written, like we did here, as negative 4, or 4 over negative 1, or negative 4 over positive 1. Either way is fine. If we flip that over, we get our 1 over 4. And then if we change the sign, negative becomes positive. So if you have a line and you're looking for the line that's perpendicular to it, just invert the slope and then change the sign and you'll get the slope of the perpendicular line. All right, let's take a look at the example problems.